Hello, thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Grant Blueshell. I am the Director of Managed Services for Bright Light Consulting. Today we'll be discussing Observation Deck. Observation Deck, better known as OD for short, is our first advanced monitoring tool for Natiza. Today I'll be going through some PowerPoint slides that will quickly describe what Bright Light Consulting is, what the Managed Service Department is all about, and some of the observation deck benefits and use cases. Then we'll turn our attention to the tool itself. I'll be doing a live demonstration and interacting with the observation deck and showing you as the user how you can take advantage of it. A couple disclaimers. Since this is a web session, please keep in mind that the coloring and the resolution of the screens that you may be seeing as a viewer might be slightly different than what you would see as an end user. Secondly, since Observation Deck is a very rich dashboard tool, I won't be able to show you every single feature and function in such a short web session. Therefore, I encourage all of you after reviewing this, if you like what you see, please reach out to Bright Light Consulting and, and we can schedule a more in-depth time to discuss. Bright Light Consulting is a national organization that focuses on business intelligence and data warehousing only. Our management team has decades of experience with major software providers and large consulting organizations. Due to this BI and data warehousing focus, the folks that we hire are seasoned BI and data warehousing consultants. On average, they, they have over 14 years of experience, and to date, we've done over 40 Nintiza implementations. We've had some great industry recognition over the last couple of years. Both Nintiza and IBM has identified some of our key employees, and also some of the local Magazines and business journals have identified our company and key employees as well. As I mentioned earlier, we've done over 40 Natiza implementations. This is just a sampling of some of the companies that we have interacted with. It's important to note that we've done end-to-end -end BI solution. In other words, we've performed everything from proof of concepts to traditional Im implementations all the way to managed service offerings where we're doing operational support type activities as well. Brightlight has two distinct business units. The first is professional services. This is your traditional consulting organization. It's typically project oriented and typically time and material or milestone based. On the other side, we have managed services and that's the department that is my responsibility. Observation Deck falls under this, but also we do have other Natiza offerings such as NZ Express, which is a rapid implementation and managed service offering. And we will also do remote ongoing support type activities for some of our Natiza customers. Observation Deck is a performance and capacity monitoring tool for Natiza. Periodically throughout the day, we'll capture snapshots of data at the Unix level, at the Natiza system level, at the individual database and table level, and also analyze the SQL that is actually being used against those Natiza systems. Capturing this data allows the user to enable certain, certain aspects to their job. For example, you can quickly identify SKU problems. You can identify expensive queries that are taxing to the system. You can, with just a few mouse clicks, look at where your reclaimable space is. And you can start to make forecast decisions based on capacity. Some of the other things it enables that are unique to the marketplace is it's the only tool that, that we're aware of that allows side-by-side -side analysis of multiple Natiza systems. Therefore, at the same time, if you have an 8,000 series machine, a 10,000 series machine, and a twin fin series machine, for example, in your, in your environment, you can look at all three side-by-side -side and collect data, all three of them simultaneously, and look at them through one rich dashboard. 
It's important to note that Observation Deck was truly built in the brainchild of our customers. Through the years, we've had several customers that have asked for this type of functionality, and through projects, we've slowly built it out, and we've taken Bright Light best practices and added those in as well, and what you'll see today is a combination of all those things. Some of the benefits of Observation Deck are we believe strongly that the OD will, will help lower resource costs. It enables faster troubleshooting and resolution to your problems, and it intercepts issues before they exist. So what does this mean to you as the user? It's, it's a reduced resource hour or headcount required to upkeep all your Natiza systems. Secondly, it will improve end user productivity. Since we're looking at all systems side by side, it gives you as a user a deeper understanding of impacts on mixed workload and will help you optimize all your applications that are interacting with Natiza. Essentially, this will lead to reduced business user delays and stoppages. Finally, it will extend the life of your current investment. It will help you from stopping from overspending on hardware and software. It will ensure that you have maximum efficiency of, of your hardware and software costs, and it will help you accurately benchmark and project for future capacity. As I mentioned, we've had several customers that have been using the observation deck in a production capacity for quite some time. I think it, it, we have some very compelling stories out there, and I'd like to share just a few of them with you at this point. So starting with customer number one, we had one customer, we, we hooked up Observation Deck and noticed from day one that their production system was approaching 90% overall utilized capacity. They had just started to form a focus group on next steps to go ahead and procure additional Natiza systems. Using the Observation Deck, we were able to identify databases that were no longer being accessed, tables that were no longer being used, and reclaimable space that could be reclaimed without any worry. And based on these recommendations, one month later, we were able to dip that capacity down to 53%. This customer no longer needed that additional capacity and were able to divert those funds where they could strategically be used elsewhere. The second customer was witnessing performance degradation. Essentially, they periodically and intermittently throughout a day, they would see slowdowns and were getting an uptick in trouble cases that were being reported to the help desk. Using OD, we were able to identify that they had specific queuing problems coming from a very specific originator. This originator was pumping a lot of singleton select statements into the system, unknowing that he was having an adverse impact on the rest of the user community. Knowing this information, this customer was able to quickly make changes to this singleton select originating program, and the performance degradation that was being witnessed completely went away. The third customer was having a high percentage of failed and boarded queries. They brought us in and we connected Observation Deck and were able to quickly identify that there was a specific ETL job that was poorly written and after it had access to table, it was not unlocking the table that it was using. So these tables remained locked and the any subsequent job that came along could not access the table, would join the queue, and eventually fail or time out. Due to the observation deck analysis, they were able to, to pull this ETL job from production, make some changes and tailor it so it was written in a, in a better format, and these table lock issues completely went away and the percentage of failed and aborted queries dramatically decreased. Finally, we had a customer that during a, a time of emergency needed to restore from a backup. Once they performed this restore, they used Observation Deck to perform checks and balances to make sure everything was okay. They quickly identified that 
their backup was not full. There are many databases missing, many tables missing, and many records within those tables that were missing. Since Observation Deck continuously snapshots data, they were able to use OD in a governance type fashion to look at what was missing and make the corrective action to move forward with that. As I mentioned, Observation Deck does fall under the Managed Service Department. So therefore, it does follow your typical subscription software as a service model. A few of these key points are, it is cloud-based. You can access it from the web. You can access it from a mobile device, right now an iPhone or an iPad. And for those of you that just want to run some raw queries against your data, you, we do provide a SQL tool as well. Since it is cloud-based, we have spent a lot of time and energy ensuring that we are both HIPAA and PCI compliant. It is also important to note that the only data that we are concerned with is metadata. We are not pulling any data out of your data warehouse and it's only analytics on how well your box is running. Included in this service is a monthly review with a bright light subject matter expert. Once a month, one of our architects will, will review the data collected by Observation Deck, will begin to make some recommendations and strategy, and sit down with you and discuss these recommendations and strategy moving forward. It's truly a great experience, and most of our customers would all agree that this is one of the highlights of this service offering. Since it is a software as a service, you will continue to get enhancement and improvements automatically. For example, customer number 10 may ask for a specific report and we'll make those changes and customers 1 through 9 will have those reports and easy to use help guided tour on what those reports are. This slide clearly depicts what the architecture components of the Observation Deck tool looks like out of the box. In the lower left hand corner you'll see the Enterprise Data Warehouse. We do require one Linux instance at the customer site that we can run the data collection scripts on. The only caveat is it must have capability to connect to each and every one of your Netiza instances. Once the data is collected, we then transport this data over a secure network to the Amazon cloud. Each customer has a secure and encrypted S3 bucket, and each customer has its own instance of an observation deck database running in open source MySQL. Again, all data is secure. All data is encrypted and goes through a key exchange. Also running on the cloud is the visualization component, which is powered by MicroStrategy. We're using MicroStrategy Web and MicroStrategy Mobile. As mentioned earlier, a user can access it from a web browser, from a mobile device, or basically just from SQL usage from a, uh, from a command line that will allow you to run SQL scripts. In total, the observation deck collects over 100 metrics. We consider 40 plus of these key metrics. And since this is a software as a service, that number continues to grow day by day. On this slide, you'll see some of the highlighted key metrics that we are pulling. Again, keep in mind, this is side-by-side -side analysis that you can compare and con contrast any machine that you have and we do trend all data. Since we snapshot data on a continual basis, you can go back and trend and create a very easy to use time series that will help you with forecasting the future. Finally, the observation deck has gone mobile. We are enabling the workforce and realize that in 2011 it is very important to know that workers are on the go and ease of use and access is of all time importance. 